from all the accounts that I've, I've read, obviously people have varying um, uh, experiences and responses to those experiences and ways in which they, they deal with uh, that kind of violence. Um, but I, I feel like the character, uh, Melanie, what, what happened to her is she had this and, um, and she repressed it. And, um, and when she has this event with George where he brings it up again, she is forced to confront it. Um, and, and that's really hard and it's really painful and it's um, tragically prevented her from being able to be in a relationship with a really wonderful man. Uh, but I think that she's not gonna be able to deny it uh, anymore. And she knows that she needs to in order to get the things that she really wants in life, she's gonna have to face it and, and um, you know, move towards a path of, of healing. My first day of shooting here um, is, you know, in San Francisco, and uh, I looked on the call sheet, and uh, it was, you know, a nine-page scene. <laughs> and I was like, welcome to Hereafter. Um, it's, uh, and it was great. I mean, it was really, really wonderful, and we actually ended up bring, breaking up the scene into two days, and, um, and yeah, we shot a lot of it just in this, you know, very, very intimate space, a little kitchen, and, um, and Matt is just totally um, brilliant. <laughs> and Clint is <laughs> a master. And it, it was fantastic. You know, it's, it's kind of an idyllic working environment and experience. And um, I feel really, really lucky to, to get to be a part of this. Well, I felt really lucky uh, to to not only do this character, but obviously to be able to to say Peter Morgan's you know words, <laughs> because he he just has such a gift uh, with his characters, and you know even someone um, like Melanie, who who's you know this character is only in a handful of scenes. I, I really feel a really distinctive journey, and I and I felt like she, when I first read it, you know she just jumped out um, from the page at me. I mean, I, I felt like okay, the way in which Peter wrote her, that it's, it's very clear, you know, what kind of a person this is and what she's facing and what her tendencies are and her personality is like. And, um, and, so, uh, and so, yeah, you know, I felt, uh, I felt really excited because it was really, you know, in a, in a very small period of time, I felt like she was kind of a, an interesting, dynamic um, character to play. And I think it's a really, it's a really powerful thing to see characters move through those, um, you know, inner obstacles and move move through those experiences that have completely flattened them or have, were totally came out of nowhere and is kind of like their worst nightmare um, or t something, you know, an event that totally changes their their life and um, and I think it's you know that has a lot of size, you know, and, and a lot of people go through that. And it's, and I think when something like that happens, it's just like, 